they had me at Minneapolis because I'm a huge Prince fan. <laughs> then the missus messed around and told me the husband worked for Prince for two years. They had me at working for a Prince for two years because I'm a big Prince fan. Yeah, so we've got royalty in the house. But they are dynamic performers in their own right. Shay Cage and E.G. Bailey, husband and wife team, they are poets, actors, and the heads of the Minneapolis Spoken Word Association. Yeah. They have performed their work across the U.S., in the U.K., Canada, Africa, and more. Now, really want to know what the end more is, because that cover like, this is about all the continents. What's left? Australia. Australia and 116 McDougal Street. Yeah. Where they are here, right here, right now. They're about to come up here and do their thing, so I know what I need you to do. Right. I need you to start picking up the energy and give up to the mic, the performing duo of my D Bob. And keep clapping so they get up here. Okay. Turn to your neighbor and say, the spirit is in the house. Here it is in the house. Very nice, incredible vibe. Blue. Blue. Blue black. Blue black. Blue black. Blue black. Blue black and beautiful are we. Many colors the sun. Blue. Blue black and beautiful are we. Many colors the sun. God's breath. God's breath. Whispering through songs. Whispering through songs. Blue, black, and beautiful are we. Many colors, the sun, God's breath, whispering through songs, through wounds, pregnant with freedom, children are forgotten. God's who's mother to wait the prodigal return. Blue, blue, black, blue, black, and beautiful. Blue, black, and beautiful are we. It's a fundamental thing to write without punctuation, but a pause, no end to grief, suffocated, should a joy trapped in periods and question marks, we, we live our lives in parentheses and the edges under the half moon where the appropriation of our drums could not, would not, could not, would not stop our rhythms, our tears, the backlash blues, tears of rape mothers, no color can black the blood soaked in Georgia clay, no colon can damn the river becoming flowed over this possessed shores, bearing scores, sentences upon our backs, frailing pages and pages with cotton smiles, praying for marginal freedom, we, we, we spoke in camps, camps, symbols, our bodies danced, danced our poems into existence. We shouted our songs through strings and washboards and horns cut from unicorns and found freedom, found freedom, found freedom. In jazz space, teardrop blues, catching spirits in church house pews. Blue, blue, black, black. Blue, black, and beautiful, and beautiful many colors love. the sun, God's breath is stirring through songs, through wombs, pregnant with freedom, children are forgotten, God's whose mothers are weeping, mm. prodigal returns, blue, return. blue, black, and beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh, This is one of the first, the first spoken word pieces that I wrote. And I just recently taught um, in a class in Minneapolis. And one of the girls was like, it's intimidating sometimes to come up to a microphone or to get in front of people and just assume that you got something that people want to hear. And it just broke me wide open. And I said, this is the first piece I wrote. And if I sent it in to somebody to get published, they probably wouldn't publish it. But it's my story and I needed to say it. And maybe somebody else will find something in it that encourages them to write. Yeah, Bridget back there was like, oh, you'll be the first woman on the mic tonight. So I'm like, where's my ladies at? Yeah, our stories are important. I am from, I am from. We stand on the backs of those who touch the bottom of the ocean's floor. Ride on the wings of butterflies to face our reflections and the mirror and smile. At daybreak, we walk the path of the chosen ones. We are majesty manifested in female form, but we are far from Maybelline clean. Look in our eyes, you'll see what I mean. 
for we have stretch marks across women's bodies, histories tracing back to sacred ancestries. We are glass houses, and like antiqued mirrors, we carry stories and broken blue-black, high yellow butter toasted secrets in between these lips. Shh. I am from Bare feet still tender from long nights through Mississippi bios. Damp with salty tears dropped from young eyes from 13 years ago. I am from, ooh, I am from muddy southern blues and broken African words from a grandmother that bore 14 kids and a single divorced mother of three. I am from cornbread, mustard greens, sugar cane, and mm, chitlins. From the scoop that slept by the door and lynch man's nooses. I am from a long line of heroes and sheroes that believed in cute little brown girls. I am from refusing to be that attitude and this baby got back hoochie grace in every MTV, BET, and XXL cover. You see, I am from Africa, uh -huh. originally from callous feet, nappy hair, broad noses, and full lips proudly. I am from a tongue that splits into many languages, from participación en los asuntos de la nación. Los pobres no tienen no, los ricos no tienen todo. Se acaban los tropecintios, los abusos decimos no. Me regarde en tu bien, de toi-même, tu es voué, tu es le de tout. From Ife, le monde, mi Debbie, hello Ife, le monde, mi Shaggy. From a younger generation that calls themselves vegetarians, and an older one that remembers to say yes ma'am and thank you sir, to our elders. From all of that and then some. How's everybody feeling? Yeah. When I say spoken, you say word spoken? Word. Spoken? Word. All right. I want to thank uh, Mike for inviting us. Um, I've uh, been connected to his Twitter for at least a year or two. Um, and uh, so I've been keeping up with Inspire Word and all the, all the going ons. So it's a privilege to be here. And of course, this is um, also the original Gaslight Cafe. Um, and, uh, you know, I was heavy into the beat generation, uh, study the beat generation when I was in college. Um, and I recently had the privilege to work with, uh, Mary Baraka mm, wow. and, uh, we did a, <coughs> a project together. Um, so I've been reading up on his, uh, well, in college, I read all his work, um, read all about his experiences in Greenwich and, uh, and then recently, uh, when I was working with him, listening to all the stories um, about this area, and then seeing the No Directions Home documentary, you know, so it's a it's an honor to be in this space, also. <laughs> this piece um, is about uh, the art form that we do uh, as spoken word artists. Um, originally, it was titled Jazz Verbalist, um, but now I just call it spoken word. So again, when I say spoken, you say word spoken. Word. Spoken. Word. Uh, they used to try to tell me spoken word wasn't an art form, and this was my attempt to prove them different. <clears throat> that word. That word. That word. That spoken word. That word, that word, that spoken word, that mic in your hand goes back like grains of sands, dreams of man, seven seas and seven doors to where we stand like God's son. How me, go go the sun and has the tears like wasted seas running, the pain and the struggle still burns, you wish you were not the one chosen to speak. Prophecies, the lost ones with spun songs of gunshot symphonies and castrated desires found it easier to bleed a brother than fulfill destinies. Don't you know your destiny is to be this word, this word, birth for, for degrees on the flat of fifth chance. Birth, four degrees from the flat of faith where your myth is someone else's reality. I heard sunrise say your myth is someone else's reality. This word, this word broken, spoken, and in tongue sorted in too many languages, too many dreams, too many memories of dreams deferred with too often the price paid is waiting years lost in penitentiaries where we are said to be Lazarus is awaiting born suspects who regardless of time and place the crime is always aiding the betting but 
it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It didn't even look like me. And I intend to be free even with no witness to save me. I will still be free even with no witness to save me. I will still be free even my only weapon left to choose is this word. This word which the abuse hangs like a noose from that. Mike in your hand, that. Mike in your hand, that. Mike in your hand goes back like grains of sands. Dreams of man, seven seas and seven doors to where you stand like God's son. Hung me, go both the sun. And as the tea is like waste, the seas running. The pain and the struggle still burns. You wish you were not the one chosen to speak prophecies to lost ones who have spun songs of gunshot symphonies and castrated desires. Found it easier to bleed rather than fulfill destinies. Don't you know your destiny, your destiny, your destiny is to be this word, this word, this spoken word. Thank you. Right. So, I told you that last piece was called Jazz Verbalist. <laughs> um, and uh, so I took that title and gave it to this piece. <laughs> We're poets, that's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I started writing this piece because uh, a, a college uh, classmate wrote me once and said, so what the hell do you do? Um, and, uh, and this was my attempt to try to explain that. <clears throat> yes, indeed, my life is blessed. Working in the trade of the jazz verbalist, I said, yes, indeed. My life is blessed, working in the trade of the jazz verbalist. We live the truth, love, never settle for less through the words of the infinite. Through the words of the infinite, we manifest. I said, yes, indeed, my life is blessed, working in the trade of the jazz verbalist. I said, yes, indeed, my life is blessed, working in the trade of the jazz verbalist. We live the truth, love, never settle for less through the words of the infinite. Through the words of the infinite, we manifest. E. Easily the breeze in my family tree struggle to survive this life of strife. In this principality, but blessed is the life when my love is with me. Practicing the path of poetry leads to freedom and styles that grace me. Conjuring philosophies, 33rd and the third degree, the way the record spins and moves me. And I know if I die young, live for centuries, I will be my destiny. To who to divine speech, I was brought here to teach. So despite the stress, I confess my life is blessed. Working in the trade of the jazz verbalist, I said, yes, indeed. Life is blessed. Working in the trade of the jazz verbalist, I said, yes, indeed. Life is blessed. Working in the trade of the jazz verbalist. We live the truth, love, never settle for less Through the words of the infinite, we manifest I am four corners of wind The eighth light, the nine divinities of the five nations in me But me, five me, does not equal we, I be, you be, we be infinity Holy number, trinity, God gave me wisdom to share with thee Wisdom, turn wisdom, on the is when I sow the seeds for the roots of the tree So I burst spirit songs and poetry for which the world is in desperate need As the future turns desperately while we strive to stay alive Planes fall from the sky and I and I and the eye of the beholder God, Yahweh, please hold us at the world smolders in technicolor Dreams of war, unsure what we're fighting for But dreams die daily, freedom lies bleeding Children scream, save me, America wonders Why do they hate me? And I can see clearly now in the rain of bullets and bombs the democracy breeds its own insanity. So these truths I release from my chest because the fighters of freedom know no rest. I said, yes indeed, my life is blessed. Working in the trade of the jazz verbalist. I said, yes, indeed, my life is blessed. Working in the trade of the jazz verbalist. We live the truth, love, never settle for less. Through the words of the infinite, through the words of the infinite, yes, indeed, life is blessed. Working in the trade of the jazz verbalists who live the truth, love, never settle for less. Through the words of the infinite, we manifest. Wow. I want to just give a shout out to um, some of our. We we moved between um, the theater world and the film world and spoken word world and um, a lot of our friends are actually now based in New York which is amazing so I want to give a shout out to Ernest and Angela <laughs> and Bridget and Brian Berry. Um, Brian Berry um, is a fabulous musician uh, from Twin Cities that just moved uh, to New York 
and he actually has played with us several times. So it's a little awkward actually to have you in the audience and not up here with us. Um, that he doesn't have his instrument, and so the next time we come, we usually don't even perform uh, sport board when we come to town because we're working on um, 